Okay, hello and welcome back. So uh, now I'm starting a tutorial series on uh, how to get started or get back to Java language. Or if you are curious, you can just uh, listen. This is like a window to developer life. So uh, you, you will probably learn something even if you are not interested in installing Java. Uh, as always, if you like the content on this cha channel, remember to leave some feedback. Uh, thumbs up on the videos, subscribe if you want to be notified of any new content that's, uh, that will be upcoming. I try to make one of these videos every week uh, so that I, uh, by the end of the year I would have more than 50 videos created, hopefully. Well, the math doesn't really add up, but I, I'm actually hoping to do a few more than that. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to later go to some Java related things. So first we need to cover how to get Java on your machine. And there's some ways to do that. Uh, there's first of all the bad way. Let's, uh, let's go to the browser. So if you go to Google and you Google something like, uh, like install Java, what you will get is uh, unfortunately a bit misleading information. So it's going to talk about Java version eight and uh, describe how to install that. You could go ahead with this one. There's a few problems with this approach. So one is that uh, this is very old version of Java already. It's still used by many and it's still useful. But on this channel, I'm going to concentrate on the new stuff and the fun and interesting stuff. So we are going to zoom uh, way away from Java 8. Second thing is that uh, <clears throat> If you download it like this, you get a very manual installation software and, and uh, then you probably will get problems if you want to run more than one version in your machine. So this is not like uh, how I want to do things. I like to automate pretty much everything, especially I like to automate installation of my develop, development environment so that uh, every time I swap my laptop or want to, want to set up a new environment, I have just a script that I can run and drink some coffee or tea while doing that. So I'm I'm a very lazy guy, so therefore I like to automate. So here's another place. You could go to jdk.java.net and you could take a look at the available builds. As you can see, after Java 8, there's been a lot of uh, faster development. There's a re release train going. So you get the new version very, very regularly with some new features and typically improved one as well. So from eight, we go, went to nine, 10, 11 is a very good stable platform to stop, but we are going onwards, 12, 13, 14, and then we have even 15. And if you are really uh, looking for the cutting edge stuff, you can go get early access versions of JDK 16, 18, and go really crazy. But these are not uh, kind of ready for release, so definitely not for running any production loads, even though I've sometimes been able to do that as well. So it's up to you. So how do I prefer to get my environment set up? Well, one way is Chocolate software. So I'm currently running on Windows uh, workstation, which is very powerful one for me. So uh, I like to automate all my installations using Chocolate. I, uh, there's instructions how to install uh, the Chocolate package manager first. And then what I can do is Choco list adopt open JDK. Uh, why did I write adopt open JDK here? Well, uh, Java uh, source codes are open source, but to be able to run them, you need a binary. And the binaries are built and supported by various different parties. There's uh, actual open JDK builds. And then we have uh, builds from Amazon, Corretto builds. Uh, Red Hat is doing the builds. Adopt open JDK is one, one fun party. Uh, and they are doing nice builds and they are supporting them. And uh, it's very hassle-free for me. So especially, definitely the development environments, I'm going to use these at least for now. And we have many versions available. I've actually uh, installed this already. It's something like Choco install, and then you pick up the version you want. And as a result, I can do this Java version thing. 
you can see that on my Windows, my default Java that I'm running is version 11 and that's okay for me here. I'm not going to show this to you because I have already installed Java here uh, and Choco is keeping it updated so I get the kind of minor uh, security patches and bug fixes uh, just by running Choco upgrade. But this is not what I'm going to show because there's actually another way I prefer. So I'm a, li a Linux guy, essentially. Uh, I, I prefer Mac OS or, or Linux for my environment. I have very good experiences there. I kind of know them inside out, so it's uh, more intuitive for me to get set up there. So uh, one really fun stuff was that uh, with the latest version of Windows, you get a really good Windows uh, uh, subsystem for Linux. So actually I have a Linux inside Windows. I'm running a Ubuntu. Uh, so I think I mispronounced that it's uh, supposed to be just Ubuntu. But Ubuntu release of, uh, of uh, Linux here. And uh, it's under Windows subsystem for Linux. Other ways to run Linux inside Windows would, would include, uh, for example, you could have a, a virtual machine running here like VirtualBox or you could have a Docker virtual machine as well. So all these are great ways. And of course you could just run plain vanilla uh, Windows. That's all good as well. So uh, Java is cross-platform. Doesn't really matter if you have Mac OS, uh, Windows, Linux, you can get it working. But I'm going to show you how to set it up on, on Linux next. By the way, in, on my Mac lap to, uh, MacBook laptop, I'm using Homebrew Package Manager. It's quite like this Choco. But, uh, but it's for uh, mainly for Mac OS. You can also use it on Linux. But I'm using uh, another tool for this that I'm going to show you next because this one I can use on Windows and Linux and ma my MacBook. However, this is only uh, limited to, to SDKs. It's in the name SDK Man. So it's awesome manager for managing your SDK installations. Uh, however, it doesn't do everything that uh, Homebrew and Chocolate are going to do. So uh, it's good for some, but it's not to be used for everything. However, again, same principle. Whatever is the tool, I like to automate things. Automation covers installation of software, managing multiple versions of software, being able to swap very rapidly between these, and then, then finally being able to update your installation so you get all the bug fixes and security fixes as you like. So all this is covered by a good, good kind of uh, manage, manager tool here. Um, for the SDK man, uh, there's the installation instructions here. So essentially, this will get you started quite rapidly. Uh, it mentions here that uh, what platforms are supported. And as I, uh, as I explained, I'm now using Ubuntu. So I already have this installed, but if I wanted, I could do it like this. Uh, this is actually a script that I download from external website and run it on my machine. So you should actually know what the script is containing. More careful people might download the script and then run it separately, be able to, to inspect it. But I have done this beforehand, so I'm not worried right now. Uh, so I have SDK man installed. Uh, typically at this point, you might want to also uh, run this one or just close your uh, terminal and open it again. So this will make sure that SDK man has been initialized. Uh, Earlier when I was running this, uh, I figured out that I also need some dependencies. So if it's complaining about missing packages, uh, you can do on your platform. You can just take care of the dependencies. I think uh, in my case, I was missing zip and unzip uh, tools. So I, I need to get these first, then install SDK man, and then I'm all set. So once you have this, now you're able to install Java and set which Java you want. Um, to test this, uh, I can do this. So SDK version. Uh, 
and now I'm able to see which version of this tool I'm running and it's also letting me know that there would be exciting new version Java 17 available in early access. If I like, I can try that one, but it's not the topic for today. So SD key ma manager, well, first of all, if you run it without any parameters, you get to rapidly see what it can do. And one of the most useful commands here is the list, list so I can say SDK list Java versions that I have. And as you can see, there's a lot available. All these are Java SDKs packaged by different parties. And uh, I'm actually having a problem because I used a huge font and small screen, so the combination may, made this a bit unreadable. As you can see, I have already installed uh, version 15, but if I wanted to install it as new one, I would just say, uh, these are all Java releases. So I would just say something like SDK install, and then I describe uh, what kind of uh, SDK I want and then what brand I want. So for the uh, version 15 that we are going to use in the upcoming tutorials, something like this. Further, I can see that this is version 15, minor update version 1, and it's uh, the build is based on Hotspot and build is uh, maintained by Adopt Open JDK. So if you prefer some other packaging, you could make up your mind here. The ma major version is what counts for the uh, features that you want to see. So I'm going to show some fun stuff with Java version 15 in, in upcoming videos. I have this already installed, so no, no worries. I can al also upgrade it easily here. And I have al al also installed earlier um, Adopt Open JDK version 8. So uh, when you install something, Adopt Open JDK is going to ask whether you want to run that as your default. So this is very easy test if your Java is set up properly. Java minus version will tell you that Java is uh, installed. It's in all environment variables properly. SDK man is going to take care of that. And finally, uh, you can see the version that you are running. Uh, I can also do the same thing with Java compiler. So it's almost the same common Java C. So this is used to compile your source codes to something you can actually run on any platform. Uh, so this is your test and prerequisite for the upcoming uh, tutorials I'm going to cover. We want to have this available here. Now, if you're like me and you are working on uh, different projects and hobby projects, you might want to be running multiple versions of Java. So SDK, uh, SDK tool is going to let you do that. If you install multiple versions, you set one as at the default, and then you are able to describe, uh, you are able to say that now I want to use Java 8. Uh, so you say uh, SDK uh, use, and then you say candidate, which is Java, and then you say version, which is uh, whatever version you prefer. So in this case, I could say SDK use, uh, and let's use version 8. And now I, if I run it, I'm actually using Java version 8, which is quite, uh, it's been around for quite longer. It's, uh, it's not having all the bells and whistles that we now have, but you can see it's got uh, 275 minor updates already. So it's quite, quite mature. There's a lot of security related fixes and bug fixes to the libraries and the language, uh, so sorry, libraries and the tools that are contained here. So I think I don't want to do too long sessions, so I think this covers it. Uh, key takeaways from this little session here. Well, I just covered how to get Java in your machine quite fast. There, there was some steps I didn't cover and I didn't cover all the combinations. So my combination was using Ubuntu uh, environment. If you want to use Mac OS, it's almost pretty much the same. Uh, SDK man is not available for Windows, unfortunately but I showed you quickly that you can use the Chocolate to, to do something similar. Chocolate is not so good at uh, necessarily managing which version you are using, so you might encounter some glitches with that, but it's, uh, it's fine if you are just going to install one version of Java, then you are not going to have any, any trouble. 
Um, I covered all these because I'm going to go through some Java stuff later, so it's going to be more fun for you if you're able to actually uh, install the Java and play with all these, these things. And if you're running with older version of Java or messed up uh, environment, then uh, you're not going to be able to do all the fun, fun things there. So uh, I, I covered how you can test easily which version of Java you have and, uh, and is it set up properly so that you can compile and you can, you can run Java. So in the upcoming sections, we are going to cover some of the IDEs, uh, development environments, how, how you can uh, accelerate a little bit uh, on, on how you do things, um, how you can set, set them up and what are your choices uh, and then from there we are going to go to what you actually can do. So uh, as I mentioned in the, in the beginning, if this is interesting for you, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have already done so, uh, give a thumbs up if this is relevant content for you, or you would just like to cheer me up and keep this content running. And uh, uh, also definitely the most, most important thing, share these. So if I, if I manage to get more uh, uh, subscribers, good things will happen in YouTube. I think first level will be a custom uh, path for my channel. Right now the, the uh, URL is horrible. So at, at 100 uh, uh, subscriber mark, I will get, get uh, some more possibilities for the channel. So help me grow if this, if, this, if this feels like something that should be supported. Let your friends know that there's a new, new content stream coming up. Okay. And I hope this was useful for you, or at least interesting. See you next time with the next video. Thank you.